Hello and welcome to another Sportsian Fantasy Pick video. Today we are going to focus on Chennai Super Kings versus Rajasthan Royals. So the game, uh, this is actually the first game that's happening in Sharjah. Overall, this is the fourth game of the IPL. We have seen three really close IPL games. Uh, so I'm guessing that this game is going to follow the trend as well. And um, so Sharjah is actually a very uh, small ground when compared to Dubai and Abu Dhabi where the first three games have been played. And uh, so there is a you know possibility of uh, the match being a high scoring one. Uh, the openers have played very well in uh, the past few games for Mumbai Indians as well as uh, for uh, RCB yesterday. So I am backing because it's going to be a small ground. I am backing uh, the top order, uh, especially the openers for both the teams to come good. Uh, that is, I have that in my mind uh, before selecting the team. And of course, uh, most importantly, CSK uh, is not a team which is known to consistently change so I'm guessing especially after CSK won their previous game CS CSK is gonna go with an unchanged side and Rajasthan Royals is the first game for them so we exactly don't know who's gonna be in the playing 11 we know one thing Ben Stokes is not he has not yet come to the UAE for the IPL so he's not gonna be uh, available for selection so the matchup which are gonna look here is uh, Rajasthan Royals batting versus CSK's bowling Rajasthan Royals batting is pretty strong when compared to their bowling and CSK has a very strong bowling as well. First coming to the wicket keepers, this is not an easy one seriously because we have uh, three really good players here. Uh, Josh Butler, opener, Sanju Samson, top order batsman and of course uh, MS Dhoni. So my choice is uh, gonna be Josh Butler as well as Sanju Samson. I'm not gonna pick MS Dhoni, of course my heart says MS Dhoni but the reason I'm not gonna pick Dhoni is because last match uh, he demoted himself so down the order he badly got to play. Uh, that was probably because of uh, CSK's left-right combination, they did not have much of left-handers so they had to promote uh, Jadeja and Sam Karan up the order that might as well happen tomorrow. So that is the only reason I'm not gonna go with MS Dhoni, of course he can take a lot of catches, he can or do some stumpings as well. Butler has been in tremendous form against Australia. Sanju Samson, I think, is probably the best Indian batsman in Rajasthan Royals lineup and uh, is extremely consistent. So I'm gonna bank on these two players. Whenever we wanna score very high on a fantasy game, we have to take a gamble which others do not. And today, the gamble that I am gonna take is Shane Watson. He's an opener, he has a really good track record against Rajasthan Royals. And this is a small ground so i am backing shane watson to score big tomorrow and along with shane watson i'm gonna pick ambati raidu who has been in tremendous form and of course faf duplessis now the thing with faf duplessis is he he can change gears he's also a tremendous fielder he generally feels at the deep which means that he gets a lot of catches he gets points for that as well and the fourth batsman that i am gonna go is the under 19 sensation jesus v jaiswal I'm hoping that HSV Jaiswal gives a similar performance which Devdutt Padikal gave yesterday. He has a tremendous reputation coming into this tournament and I think he's going to be a really good fit for Rajasthan Royals at the top along with Sanju Samson and Josh Butler. Now coming to the all-rounders, I have two picks. Both of them are CSK players. It is Sam Curran and Ravindra Jadeja. Like I said, CSK is a team which is not known for a lot of chopping and changing and Curran has... Uh, has proved a point in his previous game so I'm gonna go with Sam Curran and I'm gonna go with Ravinder Jadeja as well Jadu has been uh, the go-to man for MS Dhoni uh, for a very long time and he's bound to perform whether it's with a bat whether it's with a ball and don't forget he's a really good outfield fielder as well he will get a lot of catches in the deep mid wicket cow corner regions and that will get him a lot of points I was actually deliberating between Ravindra Jadeja and uh, Shreyas Gopal because Gopal is a wicket-taking bowler. He decided to go with Ravindra Jadeja just because I think that Jadu is much more experienced and he can provide you points in all three departments of the game. Now coming to the bowlers, I have focused on the wicket-taking bowlers for both the teams. So the first bowler that is going to go in my team is Jofra Archer. 
Now, this is a really interesting matchup between Jofra Archer and Shane Watson because we know that Shane Watson struggles a, a lot against uh, bowlers with a lot of pace. So, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. I have both Shane Watson and Jofra Archer in my team. So, one of them is going to succeed and one of them is going to fail. Uh, we don't know who it is. But I think that Archer, no matter, even if he has a bad day, he can always uh, give uh, the team the breakthroughs. And talking about wicket-taking bowlers, Piyush Chawla. I mean, come on, man. This guy has been a really underrated Indian bowler in as far as the IPL is concerned. And I'm going to definitely go with him. And apart from uh, Piyush Chawla, I'm going to go with Deepak Chahar. Uh, like we said, uh, we are expecting uh, solid opening partnerships at the start. So MS Dhoni will definitely try to utilize Deepak Chahar to stop Joss Butler and uh, Sanju Samson or uh, Yashas Vijay Swal. Uh, of course, we have other foreigners in the team of Rajasthan Royals like Andrew Tai and Tom Curran. Uh, the issue is both might play, one person might play, neither might play. We don't know because this is Rajasthan Royals first game. So I'm not going to take the gamble. I'm going to stick with the person who I know will play, which is Jofra Archer, Spius Chavla and Deepak Chahar. So this is the pick from my side. Do let me know what is going to be your pick, what is going to be your strategy. All the best to both the teams and all of you who are going to play fantasy leagues. And I'll catch you in the next video.